Hey guys, it's Rocky again. Welcome back to another quick video. So today I thought we'd have a quick it's about with the Mister. So it's my Mister FPGA. So what we're going to do is we're going to try something I've just recently installed, which is Scum VM. So for those of you who don't know, Scum VM started off as a product and maybe you play the old LucasArts adventure games and stuff, but now it's gone a lot bigger than that. So I've installed uh so I've only recently installed it in the Mister. I'm more used to using it on the PC. So I've got a decent keyboard and mouse connector. I've got a proper mouse and a decent keyboard. I just couldn't deal with it anymore. So I've got it set up to one of my PC monitors here. It's a BenQ uh, widescreen jobby. So what I'll do is I've got a few of my favourites. So let's fire up Beneath a Steel Sky. Oh, that's a bit blown out. As I said, this is just pointed at a monitor. So, come on, chop chop. I wonder if we'll get to see the intro. I can't remember. You know what? Boop. So, here we go. So, this is the PC CD ROM, the one with the sound. On the speech, I should say. So, I've played this game numerous times. This is now freeware, so. So it's running in a window on the monitor. Um, I'm still missing about the settings, so even if I go window mode full screen, it makes no difference. So we use metal bar on the door. Who's up there? You won't escape that way. So this game is totally free. You can download it from the Scum VM site. It's free freeware. So. I highly recommend you download this one. There are a few, this, like the Amazon Queen, a few others. But this is a really good game. He must have jumped. Fell all the way to ground. Phew. Lucky escape. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Robert. So down we go. So he disappears that way, and we can go that way. <laughs> These games are just brilliant. Point and click games. And Scum's just... Yeah. So I've not long, as I said, I've not long installed on my master device. So I'm just having a little mess about with it just now. So we'll go through here. Here we go. It's got no circuit board. Thank you. Sounds a bit tinny because it's coming through the internal speaker of my monitor, which is not a great speaker, but Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? Listen, we're in deep trouble. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. So pushing now, F5 will bring are. up the menu. And I should be able to quit. So quit to DOS. Yes, I'll put them right back to this. Some of them quit you there are some they'll quit you back to the menus, others will not. So I'm not gonna go through them all. Go through a couple of my favourites. So as you can see there's the list expanded greatly. I've got all the space quests there. Obviously the um The amazing, just absolutely amazing Secret of Monkey Island, one of my favourite games all of all time. Uh, this is the PC talkie version. Do, 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 do. Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Also, the pirate. Skip that. Part one. The three trials. 
This game is so good. So we can look at the picture of Governor Eileen Marley. Re-elect Governor Marley when there's only one candidate. There's only one choice. Well, scum bar should be up here. Scum. <laughs> yes. So in the scum bar. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to have to get the grog and everything for that. Yes, you Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate Lichuk. So if I hit F5 on this one, I can return to the launcher. Now, something a bit you wouldn't expect the Discworld games. Well, at least the first two. So, Psygnosis. So based on Terry Pratchett's Discworld novels, the first two games anyway are Stan Rincewind from the early Discworld novels. So these are there we go. These are good games as well. Again, just a rough feel, everything works working great. Look at luggage. A snoring chest, that's novel. Well, I'll soon fix that. <laughs> if you're the Unseen University. Uh, yes, the Unseen Perfect University. Well, it's not little trinkets and paperwork that really count in life. Right, so. Oh, right. Not this, no, that's not going to work. There we go. Quit playing. So I'll take me back to myself. I've run the script. Gonna be um, what's up? So, Dreamweb's another classic. That's a freeware game as well. So if you get scum, you can get that for nothing. Free legal. I play Dreamweb first on the Amiga. I mean, it's not got every sort of point-and-click adventure type game ever written on it yet. They're still working on them. There's a few that I would love to see on. I believe this is the PC talkie version. A dwelling of pure thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does play things like. A girl from Eden lies in bed with her eyes half closed and the covers pulled tightly around her. Her dark hair spills out over the pillow. This is a more adult game when I was a kid. So. Again, and, and this one actually does run in, in a window in the actual game itself. So, I mean, everything runs really well. Looks so really smart. So, I'm just Googling. I've got the Scum VM homepage on the other monitor here, and I'm going down to games. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a list of compatibility. So there's a couple of So I know there's a couple of bench games people always ask about, so there is a massive list and mists on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on if I can exit that. Again, oh, yeah, this is the first time I've played it on this particular oh, hold on. Exit the dossier, yeah, that'll do it. Up something else. I mean, there's some random stuff on the compatibility list, like plumbers don't wear ties, which to me does not qualify as an adventure game. But hey ho, uh, Seventh Guest, that's a classic. Phantasmagoria, that's brilliant. Dark Seed and Dark Seed Two are not on it. One of my favourites in the PC universe is also not on it yet. But again, this list has been watching all the time, and it has come a long way from the old days. So let's have a Let's fire it up with Space Quest 6, Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers. Another Sierra, Sierra Classic. Let's 
skip it. Yeah, because you, in this one you zip around the other. You, you jump in through time. It's been a few years since I've played this now, if I remember correctly. Oh, where am I? You wander aloud in non existent auditorium. <laughs> this place sure looks homey. Hey, wait, this looks just like Xenon. It is Xenon. It's along with what yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go, guys. That that was. You are in the southern area of a rare clue. That was just a quick look at Scum VM on the Mister Device. So oh, I've just realised I've got my IP on the screen. That'll have to be fixed. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.